gentlemen, and this is Great Tez once again with another replay from the world of tanks. And today we're going to watch myself once again in the M4190 Grand Finals. More kindly known as the Black Dog or the Black Bulldog. Um, this is a premium tier eight light tank in the German tree. And we're going to start on right here and do some quick killing. This is a little crazy, if I must say. Um, as you can see here, we started off with going into this general area um, right over here. Uh, and it's a very good spot to get to. Um, and with that, you can get a lot of shots up into the road. This is Minsk. Uh, I know I did not mention that. Um, you can get a lot of shots right up into this, this area up here um, <clears throat> and get some good shots. Now, the only reason I got hit by artillery there was for the simple fact of that the ELC Even 90 literally pushed through um, their lower portion or the most eastern portion as it would be better known of as the uh under port pass of the bridge or or the walkway under the bridge um now not every tank can fit there um as you can see i'm continuing i took just took out the um the type 64 uh, i'm staying the best as i can as much as possible into these bushes here and i'm firing up into the uh, the E1, EF1, F, E1, one uh, 2 area, that whole general area, and I'm taking, I'm hitting people. Now, I was spotted, and I'm not 100% sure how I was spotted right there, but I don't really move. I'm not overly afraid because um, I know after a couple moments, I'm going to vanish, but this time I don't vanish as fast as I would have liked and it gave the uh, enemy artillery way more time. I should have moved a lot sooner than I did, but uh, I'm sitting here just trying to really peg out and take these tanks out as quickly as possible, as you can see here. Um, and they just all seem to keep wanting the same, make the same mistake. There's three, there's two tanks in that general vicinity, but they all want to continue to keep pushing right up through, and uh, not understand how they're getting shot or why they're getting killed. So I, I don't stop, and I just continue to keep blasting them as they drive by. You know, free shots, free kills. You know, that's what I got to say about that. Um, at this point in time, I, I've decided that now it's time to move. We're completely outnumbering enemies. And the whole west side is completely ours, and we don't need to worry about anything from there. Now, the now the east side is slowly getting cleaned up from our heavy tanks, as you can see there. And uh, here I'm pinging to where I think the artillery might be, because I wasn't paying 100% attention where the shots were coming in at when I got hit by them. So, I'm trying to tell people to watch out. There's kind of maybe artillery over there, maybe not. But on the other side note is there's, I know there's another hiding spot, a couple of hiding spots that he could be. I'm just trying to get people to go over there to look out for him. And as I'm driving up, lo and behold, there's artillery. And I had switched to HE to get a good hit on him. I do do the damage, but I don't get the kill from the HE. And artillery takes in the last shot to take him out um, because he already was watching where I was going. So it's a one-two combination between me and the artillery and taking them out. Here we're rushing off over into the uh, city and might possibly get a shot into the Oni, but we'll have to see. Here we go, here we go. Oh, and a quick snapshot right into the Oni. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. A victory in the M4190 Grand Finals, a.k.a. known as the black dog all right and as you can see there doing a nice little quick spin around to give a quick pose and all that good stuff 
And so we're going to jump on over to what replays now and check out what our results were. Here we go. And here we are. All right, with that, that was only a second class match. It was a really fast match. It's one of my fastest matches that I've had a while on, on Minsk. And it was a fun game. Um, I probably would have taken a lot less damage if I would have moved the second time I was spotted. The first time, I, I thought I was safe at that point in time by the time I got back over there. But the Arty was paying a well amount of attention to that area. I think it was because of the even 90 um, low um, yellowing uh, suiciding, suiscouting, whatever you want to call it. So, all right, I walked out with a second class badge, uh, fire for effect, and bruiser. I didn't get any special rewards this time, um, heroic medals, but that's all right. You don't always have to get a heroic medal to have a good match. And as this one, this was a good match. This was a 5,743 WNA game. Um, I did survive, uh, and all. I got 400, only 480 spotting damage um, or assist damage in this game, but I did 2,300 of my own damage, and that makes up for pretty much a whole lot of the other stuff. Now, I mean, you can see here, here's all my assist damage. I got uh, 333 from spotting and 147 from a track, so there is that. Now... I was top on damage and top on experience. No one can claim to even be near me on either other than our Emil one who broke the 2000 mark and then our IS and the Emil one who also broke the 800 space experience um, mark. Fired 19 shots. Only 13 of them I actually hit. Uh, I did fire some shots that took out quite a bit of scenery there and missed quite a bit of a bit of stuff but I did keep firing trying to stay in bushes and hidden and keep putting damage into the enemy tanks um, I want that was the quickest way I figured it could help out my enemies because the spot I went to ain't the greatest spot for getting a lot of spot damage but it is great for getting a lot of side damage and hits on enemies um, <clears throat> as you can see here 11 of them 13 did penetrate I had two splash damages and it was because I did fire I think two HE rounds um, and, uh, they do count for penetrations if they direct hit, um, if they just actual splash splash, I don't think so. Um, it was a two, like I said, 2,346 of that all over 1,900 of it, three damage over 1,900 of it was from over 300 meters. Uh, as we've seen, I damaged, spotted one, damaged seven, destroyed three, uh, Eight, uh, 480 um, damage through assistance, almost two kilometers completely uh, traveled. Now it was with a premium account. I did have boosters running, so I got 70,000 credits plus another 25 from boosters, give me 95. Again, this is a premium vehicle. I didn't use any gold ammo, so I walked out with 95. So here in line, I ended up with a total of 85.9 thousand, almost 86 thousand, which is just uh, under under 10,000 spent in uh, on credits. Earned 1273 for my experience. It was a times two. Uh, I had boosters running, as you can see. Uh, it was also a premium tank. So I walked out with 3,261. And as I have that set up, that all goes directly to crew training, which is my rum tile panzer crew. So... Uh, it's the easiest way if you got premiums of, of the same equivalency, even if it's the same tier. Um, tier eights are the best because uh, you get you get right there is where the best credit earning and experience earning comes when it comes to premium tanks. Now sevens, I'm not going to give down to a bad point. Sevens are actually still really good, and, and it just starts to slowly dwindle from there. Um, for tier tier three tanks. You're actually tier five and six are your best credit earners. So for when it comes to premiums, it's seven and eights. But it was overall a really fun game. I did enjoy it a lot. I hope you enjoyed this quick video. Um, 
going to be one of my quicker ones. I'm not going to add a lot of extra onto it. So with all that being said, uh, I do hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you did not like this video and really think it deserves one, go ahead and give it a thumbs down. If you're not a subscriber, please take a moment um, and, and click the subscription button. And if you want instant notifications about uh, new and upcoming videos of mine or new videos of mine, go ahead and click the bell. With all that being said, ladies and gentlemen, this is Great Taz signing off. I hope everyone had a great, wonderful New Year's and uh, hope to see you again soon. Uh, this is Great Taz signing off. See you soon. <laughs>